okay? I'm gonna bring this ankle, my right ankle over my left thigh, okay? I'm gonna keep this leg in this bent position like we've had it for the first few stretches. And we're gonna do this actively, just like we did uh, that hook line uh, hip stretch where we're pulling the knee in, okay? Knee to chest. Um, now we're going to take our same side hand that's in this figure four. If my right leg is up, my right hand is doing the work here, okay? I'm just gonna push my thigh forward. You're gonna feel a stretch in your piriformis in the glutes, uh, in, the, in, the, in the booty, basically. You're gonna feel this in, in the posterior, okay? So you're gonna just hold it for a couple seconds, let it release. Hold it for a couple seconds, let it release. You're breathing often through this. Okay, big deep breaths. You should feel more mobility as you go through each one of these. And as we know, you're standing up straighter after we do this. So it's been good so far for just your posture alone. Nice and easy. You can keep your arm down if you feel more stable that way. Nice and easy, nothing crazy. The last one you're gonna do without a band now, uh, rewind, you're gonna go back and hit this 10 reps on each side. So 10 times, little pause during that stretch, 10 times, then you'll switch, hit the left, same thing 10 times, you're gonna do three by 10. Most of this stuff is all three sets of 10 repetitions of each, okay? Now, the fourth one you're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna give you variations of this, just depending on how you're feeling, how your core is feeling, how the hernia might be feeling, or your back. So it's all gonna depend on what you can do. I'll give you level one, and then I'll give you the progression from that as well.